Hey guys, video you're gonna see here next is my review overall after the breakdown of the Pit Boss Copperhead. All right, it's gonna be interesting as usual. Stick around. All right, hey guys. So uh, a couple weeks ago, I was attempting my first brisket cook on the Pit Boss cooker. That was actually gonna be my fourth cook. I had some ERH codes that were basically means out of the manual that the unit was running too hot, all right? They did that to me twice. I wind up getting frustrated, <laughs> took the brisket out, I finished it on my yellow UDS. Uh, there's a video, a couple videos back in, in my library. You probably, if you haven't seen it, that was a good brisket cook, it turned out great. But, issue with the pit boss, okay? Shut down, I called pit boss, was on hold 45 minutes, finally left my number for them to call me back. They called me back about an hour and a half later. Told me that the cap up top, they asked how low I had it. I had it about down to here. They said, no, that thing's gotta be raised all the way up, okay? My question there, I don't understand. Well, they say the air, it's gotta, airflow's gotta flow, oven, whatever, whatever. Well, to me, first question is, okay, then why give you the option to screw it all the way down? Or adjust it, right? Okay, whatever. I said, okay, so I raised it up. And again, this isn't that video. I raised it up, turned the unit back on. It got up to, I had it set at 250. It hit 300 and shut down. It did that to me twice. The second time it got up to 400 degrees and shut down. Mind you, the cap was up all the way like I was told by Pit Boss to do, and it still shut down. Long story short, there in that story or that part of this story is that Pit Boss is going to be sending me a new controller and a new probe. Mind you, it's been two weeks. I haven't seen them yet, but I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt with COVID and everything that's going on right now. Short staff, okay. However, you're seeing it's it's on, right? It's running. Well, Grill Sergeant uh, Andrew over at Grill Sergeant posted a video on uh, this past Sunday, a few days ago about ER codes or codes in general on the pit boss. First thing he said, raise the cap all the way up. All right, okay. One thing that he did say that caught my attention was let your unit cool down. But when I talked to pit boss on the phone, they never told me how long to let it cool down. They never questioned them. I told them it had just happened. It's been about an hour, an hour and a half. They never said anything otherwise. And you said, let the unit cool down. I said, okay, well, it's been six days since that happened. Came outside, took the cover off, fired it up, raised the deal up up here all the way, and it ran great. It started running. The only issue I was having was the temperatures on the bottom, or on the, the panel there, fluctuating by 40, 50 degrees of where it's supposed to be set at. All right? Well, Still ran the unit, tested the unit, and it ran for an hour, not failed. Ran in the smoke mode, it, it did all that good stuff, and it was working great, okay? That was, uh, again, four days ago. Well, here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and run it again in cook mode. I got a couple pork butts in here. Problems with the temperature settings, okay, the, the gauge. Talking to John over at 1984 Barbecue, He's got the same unit, has had a ton of error codes, had, well not error codes so much as a ton of uh, temperature not being accurate, right? He told me that he did was he raised his water pan, okay? So I'm doing that. I've raised my water pan about two inches from where it was originally set or put at factory, whatever, down low, I don't know. That's just where it was. Well. It seems to be working because I've got the set temperature at 250. It's at 240 right now. I've got two temperature probes at great level, one in the back, one in the front. One in the back is reading 225. One in the front's reading, in the back's reading 225. One in the front's reading 235. And I'm getting 235 down here. So, 235 is what it's saying down here on the bottom with the probe is behind the water pan. Probe up here in the front, it's 235. Probe in the back, it's 228. 
Now it's set at 250, but you can see the fan just kicked on, showing the smoke, and it's warming up. Now they're equal here. 237, they're both at 237. Down here we're at 245. I can live with that, all right? It's the problems that we were getting that was set at 250 and running 320. Playing those numbers is just all over the place. I think this might have worked down here, John. And, uh, props to you for, for sharing that. Props to Andrew for reminding me about the uh, letting me cool down part. But we're gonna see where it goes. I'm gonna come back here after a while. Got a couple of pork butts in here. They've only been on for about half an hour. But uh, we'll come back after a while and, and see how the unit's running. Hopefully, the next time you see me here in a while, it'll be in the blink of an eye or in a second. It'll be a couple hours from now. And uh, hopefully we have good results and there will be no more ER shows. All right? Cool. Well, after running two hours at 250 degrees, I was pretty impressed with the unit hitting that 250, 260 temp. Raised the water pan, it seemed to help that out, but I don't know. It was not running hot. 260, I was sitting here, ERH came on. Unit shut down, ERH code came on, and I'm dead in the water. Pit boss, I'm waiting on you two weeks now to have the parts sent out. I haven't seen them yet. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. I said that earlier. Uh, caps raised up all the way. I don't know, guys. You can see smoke coming out the firebox over here. I'm gonna take these two pork butts plus two shoulders I got inside, put them over here old school. I know this thing's not gonna let me down. I hope Pit Boss takes care of this problem because, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyhow, I know I'm gonna get it done over here. Got it fired up, let it warm up. I'll get the two pork butts on here now. Get them over there, get the shoulders on. Guys, as soon as I hear something back from Pit Boss, you'll be the first to know. Go, go. All right, just wanted to share it out. And this is happening here on Thursday. Uh, I'm gonna put this video out here in just a little bit. I'm gonna go inside and post this because I think everybody needs to see it. All right, you wanna see this post? It's here Thursday, the 29th or the 30th. I'm sorry, I don't know, but uh, I'm a little upset. I was surprised because the unit was working. It was running good. Two hours into it, I thought it was a done deal and all for naught. But live and learn, right? Okay. Guys, catch you on the next one. Hopefully it's better.